We're on day 26 now, the longest government shutdown in American history. It continues. White House economists are warning the shutdown could push the U.S. into what is known as a contraction. New here at 4, ABC Serena Marshall reports. The State of the Union still shut down, and the Speaker of the House telling the President to consider rescheduling his State of the Union address until it reopens. Republicans are claiming she's playing politics, but Pelosi saying this is about security concerns. A bipartisan group of lawmakers known as the Problem Solvers Caucus invited to the White House today, but still no deal. Sarah Sanders saying in a statement, they listen to one another and now both have a good understanding of what the other wants. We look forward to more conversations like this. But what each side wants remains the same. The president insisting on a wall and Democrats. Three words to my Republican colleagues. Open the government. Even presidential ally Lindsey Graham said he doesn't see a path forward. It's incumbent now upon the president, if there's no legislative path, to keep his word to build that wall through executive action. People feel this in much different ways, and until or unless they feel it in sufficient numbers that they're calling their members of Congress to complain about it, the situation won't budge. A new S&P analysis found the U.S. economy lost $3.6 billion due to the shutdown so far, and by the end of next week, it will have cost the economy more than what the president has demanded to fund the border wall. As the Trump administration summoned nearly 50,000 employees from the IRS to the FAA and FDA back to work unpaid, hoping to mitigate the impact. Another federal agency recalling employees, the U.S. Department of Agriculture bringing people back unpaid to process farm loans. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. And of course, during the shutdown, thousands of workers are furloughed or working without pay. And mm -hmm. one man already known for feeding people when disaster strikes is now helping out. We're going to have his story for you coming up later at 4.